good morning this is a accurate clip of me waking up in the morning <laughs> so i start off every morning and i do my makeup after i brush my teeth um, i basically bought this new spray from target and i really liked it so i started to incorporate that in my skincare routine i don't really do too much to my face each morning i usually just do like concealer a little bit of foundation blusher contour okay now that i say it sounds like a lot this part is the most vital part of like getting a q-tip and like using it to take excess makeup off my lips because it just exfoliates it and it also gives like a good base for doing my lip product makeup on then i go ahead and i set my under eyes um don't know what happened there but like it went a bit weird so then i had to use my fingers and like smudge it in or whatever this is me i just decided to change the angle of where i was filming and then i realized it was actually a lot better this way I was just bronzing my face and then I remember to bronze my forehead as well so that it doesn't look like five different colours. And then I came ahead, I came ahead and then I came and started to just uh, add a bit of blusher to my face. Blusher is really good. <laughs> then I do my eyebrows. Usually I don't like doing it on camera because I mess up so badly. So I decided to just do it. Um, oh, okay. I thought I did it off camera. I guess I didn't. I decided to be brave and film it today. So this is me doing it and it didn't turn out that bad. My eyebrows are sisters and not twins like they always turn out non-identical but you know what it's okay i decided to move on then i love this bondi sands spf watermelon lip balm like it's so good with barely any product in there but it's okay because i literally have to squish out a little bit each day and fight for like one drop but that was that after that i used my dior lip glow i really, really like it it adds color to my face and makes me look a bit less dead um and it just like hydrates my lips i think so this is me i also noticed that i was like really bent like my posture was so diagonal so i tried to fix it but i looked really awkward after i don't know why that happened um like genuinely i start worrying that my spine is like curved because even here like why is it still diagonal i don't even know it looks so odd when i try to make it straight maybe maybe i need to go to posture therapy anyway then i started to like um do a little bit of eyeshadow not too much nothing too crazy and then i did my highlight because it really adds a difference it makes my nose look shiny and i love having a shiny nose then i did my um under eyeliner oh i didn't film it okay i just did my under eyeliner i did this part which is the most awkward part of doing my um cutting my lashes it makes a difference but then i feel like it only lasts like two seconds and it goes back to normal i don't know how you guys make it last longer maybe i'm doing it wrong then i go ahead with my sky high mascara which is really 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 good because it makes my lashes sky high yeah after that i decided to go for a little touch of painting my nails this was literally a 60p nail polish that i bought from primark when i was still in england and it's so thin that it literally does nothing i mean what did i expect it was literally 60p but it's like very sheer but anyway i kind of like it because it adds like a bit of a gloss so yeah that's what i decided to do you can obviously like double coat it more because it dries really quickly but i couldn't be asked for that so i just did like one coat on each nail i started shaping my nails differently so like i used to cut it curved but now i cut it square you can tell i've had zero human interaction ages i'm talking for days like literally i can't shut up anywho then i started doing my other hand naturally doing my um right hand is harder because i have to do it Oh wait, it's the other way around. Left, right. Yeah, doing my right hand is harder because I have to do it with my left hand. My left hand is my non-dominant hand. So it's like much harder. But I actually managed to not screw it up. And even if I did, and if it were on my skin, you wouldn't even be able to tell because it's such a bad nail polish. So there's that. Then I finished off doing my pinky and I felt so accomplished once I had done all of them. I tried to show you nicely, but you can't really see in this one. Then I was like, guys, come on. Oh, fine. Do you know what? I'll just have to take you. You're too lazy. So I went to pick up the camera. Let's have a look at my lovely walk-in wardrobe. This is the wardrobe in my dorm. It's like fairly small, but it's okay. Um, I only have half it, by the way. Lol. Then this is my drawer. I didn't know if my nails were still wet or not, so I could barely like touch it. But there's me awkwardly picking up my trouser. And hmm, which top should I wear? Oh, okay. I've already decided this one. I bought this from England specifically because it says California on it and I wanted to wear it in California and now I get to wear it in California. How cool. Trick. Click. Oh, I was supposed to say click, but I don't know what the hell I said because I freaked out. <laughs> so I, I don't know what I said. I, was, I, 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 I don't know what I said. Then this is me finishing off my my, make, my makeup, my look with some jewellery. I like adding rings and I just uh, use this perfume it's my mum's but she just gave it to me and now i wear it and this is my apple watch that i decided to also wear because it's a good watch then i made breakfast i'd obviously make oatmeal it's super delicious super healthy super scrummy yum this is my oatmeal i usually just wait for it to settle <clears throat> in the kettle that rhymed then i um put water on it i know i don't use milk because i know the lactose makes my stomach feel weird in the morning and i don't want to go to a lecture and my stomach being all like 
but I really don't want that. Then I thought, okay, since I'm early, I'm going to be doing some reading, because I was so prepared this day. I don't do this every day. Um, so I started actually doing reading. This is my reading phase, my very concentrated reading phase. <laughs> oh, that was such a horrible phase. Then my oatmeal was ready. It was all stuck together. So this is me trying to stir it, but I couldn't do, hold the camera with one hand and stir it. And then too hard. So then I just put the camera down and that was much easier. And this is me eating and convincing you guys it's really delicious. But with the topping, it's more delicious because it's like Cocoa Pops, but like, not that good and then i had to hold the spoon so then i had to do it like this after i put the cocoa pops on top and i don't think cocoa pops exist here cocoa pops and then this is me eating it and it was really good and this is what it looked like for reference yum then i just carried on eating it i guess until i finished eating it and then i carried on even more until i had the whole bowl that was empty and i just scraped it and scraped it in my pink spoon yummy after that i was ready to go to my classes let's go these are my shoes that i wore this is the corridor this is the classroom i didn't film in the classroom then i got lunch from this place i didn't film much after but then i started to prepare my dinner which was ramen noodles but i made it differently because i added garlic i added some onion and also there was a little bit of cabbage in there so i was like why not just shove some cabbage in so then i also just decided to cut it and i cut it into pieces it literally looks like i do nothing in my day but eat but that is not false after that i just cut it into slices i wasn't sure how much onion to use because i didn't need that much like half onion was actually quite a lot for me to use in like one pack of noodles but i still wanted it to be fairly oniony so i decided to use about a two-thirds of the half so in terms of fractions i don't know what that would be and then i cut up two cloves of garlic this is so satisfying and really nice and cool to watch and then it becomes a bit unsatisfying as the shape changes but we can ignore that then i got rid of the like tiny brown bit i just don't like it it's just weird it makes me think of like a mole not that there's anything wrong with moles i actually like moles but just not on garlics then I just cut my garlic even more and then I start thinking do I need another one should I use that should I cut another garlic like is that going to be too less is it going to be too much actually I didn't think it, if it was going to be too much because it's never too much but I did add my cabbage pieces in this is me plopping the oil into the pan then I just went ahead chucked everything in my cabbage my onion my garlic all of that together into some oil into a pan ignore that curry stain in the corner I did clean it but like after and then I added my chicken powder sachet and then stirred it all together like a pro like a pro I'm getting really out of breath. This is what it looked like. And then this is me smiling away, thinking I'm Gordon Ramsay, yum, yum, yum. And then I added in some pasta water. There wasn't actually that much, but I had squashed out the tiny residual amounts from the pot and then continued to stir until my onions became soft and slithery. Then I added my noodles in to the soft and slithery onions and I tried some and it was actually really good. It looked plain, but it was actually really good. I added some spring onions on top or scallions as they call it here and then i ate it then i took my um, nail polish off so that i was able to pray and then i started to get ready for bed i did other stuff in my day too like talking to my housemates and stuff i didn't film everything this was me getting ready for bed brushing my teeth good night make sure you watch my new vlog and subscribe bye <laughs>